everyone, how are you doing today? I'm here again with another video showing you guys how to disassemble your laptop and repaste and do your own service job for your portable laptop. In this time, today we have an ASUS a laptop. It's the model number EP501U. Uh, I just put the working towel on the bottom. Uh, first thing, when you flip the laptop, I don't see any ventilation except this ventilation right in the middle. And there's no side exhaust going out, there's only backside. And if there's a ventilation right here in the middle top, that means the fan should be somewhere over here. And there's a opening gaps right here. That means the air has to go through here to the fan and up to the back side, which is not too good. So we're gonna open it up and we're gonna check it out. So first thing first, flip it over and remove all the screws on the bottom cover. I'm just gonna fast forward this part. Now that we have taken it apart, the bottom screws, you're gonna half open the laptop. What do you wanna do? You wanna grab your guitar pick, and stick it right between the gray and the top cover, and just do this kind of twist motion all around the laptop. Just twist it. All right. Once that's done, then you can put your finger right in here and pull it apart gently and slowly. You are going to see our cables right there holding the keyboard and the mouse. You got to pull the back side. Now gently pull it to one side. So what you want to do, you want to remove this tape right there, the black tape. Use a tweezers. There we go. Once, once you did that, you just got to unclip the locks and just pull the cables out oh, there we go and you got your keyboard and why i don't like these keyboards is because they come from the bottom to top you can't actually replace them from the top side because they are kind of they are mesh type so they go from underneath so if you ever spill anything and you want to change it you have to remove all these patches the plastic dots you have to remove them, they are not a screw. And as you can see on this laptop, they added a metal uh, weight right here. This is just a metal weight. So you can actually feel heavy on one side, but the battery is really light. And they put this one so they like, they come, the screen is kind of heavy, so it won't flip over to the screen side. So they have to add the the metal but i think they could have added extra battery for the weight not to put a metal weight so that's my opinion but i guess you didn't pay enough all right now we're gonna put this to one side so down here you got the home motherboard and the hard drive and everything else so first thing i see on this board i see the ram chips are soldered on the board that means you cannot upgrade the ram or you cannot replace the ram and these two slots right here they are for the vram which are not installed let me zoom a bit so we got the hard drive the wi-fi board and this whole thing is the battery which just comes all over here and down in the other side we have the USB and the power button. I think I just turned it on. Yep, I just did. 
So I'm just gonna force shut down this one right now. Hold it for five seconds. There we go. Anyway, first thing first, we want to remove the hard drive by removing these two screws and one screw right back there. And one right and two in the front. There is 500 screws on this one. So we're going to remove one, two, three, four, and five screws. Now that we remove the screws, we just gotta pull it from this end. Just pull the hard drive back. And if it's not coming, it's too sticky, just try to push it out. Slowly and there. Just push it toward the Wi Fi side and it will come out. And this is a Toshiba hard drive, one terabyte. I'm not a big fan of Toshiba hard drives. And we have to remove the Wi Fi board. So we're removing one screw. You do not need to detach the cable for the Wi Fi board. Just remove them, slide it out, and leave it there. You can detach it if you want to, but I just don't do it. There's no point. So the cables are right here on the bottom side. Next, we're going to remove the ribbon cable for an off switch. So lift up this and pull it out. Next we want to remove the battery cable but in order to do that we have to remove these two screws. And I don't want to bend the board so I'm just going to unscrew the whole board. So there's a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 screws that we have to unscrew. Uh, I don't know if I should be removing the screws for the fan, but what the hell, I'm just going to remove it. Alright, now we remove the fan too. So we're just going to lift up the board gently a little up. And we should be able to pull out the... I don't know if it has a clip on the other side. It's kind of hard, so... Let's just remove the LCD. I'm thinking this one is the LCD and the other one is the touch. Or oh, this is the LCD and this is the touch cable. So unhook that one. And lift up gently this side and pull it towards the outboard. Also, you can detach this board right here, that's the speaker, that goes to a SATA board right there. I don't know why I cannot remove this battery plug right there. Maybe it's built in solder then, so that would be kind of stupid. So let's go and lift up the whole motherboard. And flip it over. Just gonna flip it over, leave it like that. You can only upgrade one RAM the on this side, inside of it. You cannot upgrade the other RAM. So there's one DIMM RAM to upgrade, and there's a CPU right there and the heatsink. It's kind of okay, better than this one than my other videos. You can see there's a. They don't even have the tubings. As you can see, the fan is right over here. It gets right here under the heat sink places right over here, and there is a ventilation right over there. Let me try zoom out. So, if the fan is right there, air has to come through here, go through here, and just exits from the heat sink. So, because the fan is really close to the bottom cover. It's really hard for the air to just travel from this entrance to the fan and to the artboard. So that's why it just runs a little harder. And again, I don't like these clamps that they use for the holding the CPU. These are flimsy clamps right there. So this is the warranty sticker. I'm just going to put it to one side. And if you want to replace the thermal paste, you have to unscrew the four screws right there. 
I'm not gonna do this one because if you want to replace the thermal paste you just have to remove these four screws and clean it up and just put the new thermal paste so this laptop is just brand new I'm not gonna avoid the warranty to do it I'm just gonna stick it back on but now that we can see that if you want to upgrade your RAM you, there's a hard way you have to flip the motherboard from inside there's no bottom cover easy access for the bottom side RAM to upgrade that one uh, the top side RAM is soldered in so that's kinda uh, no no for me if you want to put it back in just put the charger side port in down first and then push it down slowly and it should fall in place. There you go. And then plug in the cable for the touch, touch screen, the LCD cable, line it up. And you plug in the cable for the screen. And before I put the power switch on, 45 degree angle, put the Wi Fi board in, and then start putting all the screws back in. The reason I like to open this laptop is to just see what kind of heatsink they have and what kind of RAM upgrades you can do, and the easiest way to do your maintenance. Uh, Heating change, and also cleaning the fans. On this laptop, it's not an easy access. So that's the only reason I don't like it. And I don't like the fact that they don't want to add an extra DIMM RAM on top. And they could have easily made it accessible, the bottom RAM, by putting a cover underneath. Right, once you have all the screws, you want to put the screws for the Wi Fi port. And once you did that, plug in the left right speakers. There you go. Make sure you put the cable for the Wi Fi nicely in place. Now you're going to put down the on off switch. Ribbon cable. As, I don't know why. As soon as you put it in, it just turns on. But I guess that's okay. And it takes you to the BIOS screen. Because there's no hard drive. So I'm just going to shut it down. Now you want to grab your hard drive. Slide it, put it down. And then slide it towards the right speaker. And you're gonna put all the five screws. If you guys have any question, doubts, and you want me to reopen it actually to show you more about the parts of this one, which I doubt it because there's not much to open. And let me know in the comments. As you can see in this side, there's only one and two screws that hold in this port, which is one USB volume rocker and power on switch and then memory card reader, which are attached to there's a left speaker right there. There's not much more I can do here to open it up. So now we're gonna put the top cover. So you want to grab the top cover and if you want to change your mouse pad or well, something like that just the three screws that are holding it and screw these three and it's just going to fall down the other side uh, in a 45 degree angle you're just going to slowly slide it in yes if you guys can see this i'll put it in an offset type and I'm going to slide in the keyboard 
Once the keyboard is slide in, just close it. The mouse pad. Slide it in. And close it up. And now you're going to put it back in. Put everything down. Just You're going to pinch the, all the sides on the corners. Just go ahead and pinch it like that. On the top side, just push it down by the hinges. And slowly. Now you can go ahead and close the lid. Flip it over and put all the screws back in. I hope you guys like this video. If you like it, thumbs up. And if you have any questions, just ask me in the comments and I'll be glad to answer them. And if you subscribe, you guys help me out to make more videos and take requests. Thanks for watching, guys. Just gonna finish putting the screws. Remember the smaller screws are for the corner bottom side and the long ones are for the rest. We are all set. And thanks again for watching.